Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Dave and Krista, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a new form or landing page in ConvertKit. It's pretty much the same process, so if I show you how to do one, you should be able to do the others. To start, I'm going to log into my site, and I'm going to click on Landing Pages and Forms, and then I'll come here to Add New. I'm going to create a form, and personally, I like to do the inline forms. They give you a few different layouts that you can choose from. Um, if I'm embedding this onto my existing website, I generally go for the most simple one, which is this Claire form. So I'll choose this. From here, I can click on the form to modify things. So I can change the font color, the border color. If I don't want rounded corners, I can get rid of the border radius. That's typically something I do. Um, you can change the labels and font weights and all sorts of things. You can also click on the subscribe button and make it a different color. You can you know, get rid of the border radius, which I normally do. And then if you double click on the button itself, you can change the text. So I normally make it a little more descriptive. So something like send me my, so something like send me my guide or whatever kind of freebie that I'm using. Next, I'm going to go to this little gear right here and do some of the settings. So next, I'm going to click on this little gear right here. I don't really touch these settings up here. Those are probably something you want to do, though, if you're doing a landing page and you want to use the landing page in ConvertKit. I do tend to play with this visitor subscribe success message. So sometimes we'll just give people a success message that pops up after they've entered their email address. Sometimes we'll direct them to a thank you page. So something like davianchrista.com slash thanks. And then on that page, we have a message letting them know to check their inbox for their guide or their freebie, asking them to send an email to support at daveandkrista.com if, if it doesn't work. And then sometimes we'll also give them a social offer or direct them to other content. Once this um, area is set up, we'll go to this little mail icon right here. So this is where you can either send them to an email or give them a download. So if I switch this right here to download, I can choose a file and I can upload my PDF. Once they enter their email, they're going to get an email in their inbox linking to the PDF to let them download the file. The last little gear section is a little more advanced. Um, you can set up to send them to a thank you page within ConvertKit, which depending on um, how complicated you're getting with your forms, Sometimes you want to send them to a thank you page once they've downloaded for Facebook ads tracking reasons. Sending them to another page lets Facebook track the email entry as a conversion. And so that can help with your Facebook ads and targeting. So um, there's two different ways to do that. You can send them to your own website or you can send them to a thank you page within ConvertKit. Oh, the last thing I like to do is I normally turn off this Powered by ConvertKit. If you just click on it, you can unselect it right here and then it will be hidden. Once you have your form customized, you can go to embed and it'll give you a few different ways to embed your form. I typically just copy the script right here and then I'll paste that in whatever part of my website I'm embedding it. Before you exit your form, you want to make sure that you name it with your lead magnet guide right here so you know which form it links to and what it delivers. And then you'd also want to save your form. So I hope that helps. ConvertKit has a great support team. If you get stuck or you have any questions, you can always message them via this little app right here. So thanks for joining me.